Yeah, 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 yeah. Today I'm here with Russian food with Mark Wings. He's going to Russia this time. I will uh, choose the food parts when he's eating and talking, and we will make reaction to this. Square right outside the window, right across the street. And the other one is the used to drink water from these glasses. What is the juice again? Uh, this is uh, Sibakton. Oh, oh. Sibakton. Okay, I'll do it. It has a little bit of a slightly fermented smell to it. Mmm. Should be sweet and sour. Yeah, sweet and sour and just like a, a little bit acidic. Uh, it's I'm not, sure if it's, working, it's, uh, not really it's not orange juice, right? It'll go back. Maybe we can understand what's that. Red to contrast. It's amazing about this place is it does have a view of the red square right outside the window, right across the street. And the oh, alcoholics, okay. they used to drink vodka from these glasses. Vodka. To drink vodka from these glasses. What is the juice again? Uh, this is uh, Sibakthorn. Oh. oh. Sibakthorn. Sibakthorn. Okay, I'll do it. It has a little bit of a slightly fermented smell to it. Slightly. Mmm. Should be sweet and sour. Yeah, sweet and sour and just like a, a little bit acidic. Uh, I'm not it, sure will be, it will be so, you know, delish. Uh, really like this one, but <laughs> Micah got the chicken broth with, and they put uh, hard boiled floating <laughs> eggs inside. Oh, it's dumpling. <laughs> really, Russian people has dumpling? I didn't got know some dishes to share. Mm -hmm. A buckwheat porridge, which is almost like a, it's like a thick porridge. With yeah, 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 you yeah, can see thick. the grains. There's mushrooms in there, maybe some dill, I think. Mm -hmm. And we also got eggs, poached eggs, and they put it over a piece of bread. Yeah, bread and the cheese on the top and uh, oh, the, the, the caviar. The caviar. And caviar. Cheese, bread, and caviar. Ooh. It's heavy, man. When you eat it, you will be full. The red caviar. And then finally, what is this one, Dimitri? This is with cherries. So and it's called it. Cherries. It's chumbling. Uh, chump dumplings. Cherries. Vareniki. It's Vareniki. 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 I'm going to start with the eggs and the poached eggs. That's cheese all over it. There's, mush there's um, uh, spinach on the bottom there, too. And I think that would be yeah, the yeah, yolk spinach, with yeah. the... Oh, look at all that caviar. Please. Salmon. Salmon eggs. Salmon. Do you like caviar? Unfortunately, I don't like seafoods. I can't eat caviar. It's so crispy. Can you hear that? It's like a trough of eggs. I don't like caviar, but caviar. I want it. Oh yeah. Mmm. I like. How is it? Wow. Actually, he likes every woods. <laughs> That is amazing. Uh -huh. yeah, it's so it's rich. I think there might be cream in there too. Yeah, there's definitely sour cream or cream in there at the bottom, mixed with the egg yolk, mixed with the richness of the the mm. caviar, the red caviar, and then the cheese. Really it's like all these things too. in one in one piece of bread. It's, it's amazing. So, in Russians are crazy about sour cream. We add it everywhere in the main I like, course. I like, you know, sour cream in the soups, in the desserts, and of course, so no vareniki can be eaten without sour cream. So sour it's, cream. it's, no, it's no. The, the main, the main one. Easy for you. So sour cream is perfect. I, I, I will, I will. If if I want to eat, I will use whole sour, sour cream. So they're filled this? with cherries, but then there's cherry juice on top as well. And I love like when you. I think it's very yummy. Look at the face. Dumpling with cherry and sour cream. Wow. Where can I buy? Mix sour cream in. It kind of like creates that kind of swirl with the, the broth, with the, the soup. Mm. Even he likes that. Wow. The Varenica is amazing too. Yeah. What I like about it is it doesn't taste sweet at all. They're just sour. And then what's amazing nice. about that is it's not sweet. It's sour. I love sour foods. I love sour foods. It's the, the actual wrapper of the Varenica is very thin. They don't feel heavy. They don't feel like gummy. 
it's like so it's good amazing it's texture like on the wrapper. I'm gonna add a little more of that cherry sauce. Nice. Oh yeah. Bloody, bloody. <laughs> it does. Bloody sauce. What a beautiful sauce. And I'm so hungry now. What am I doing? What am I doing with myself? Wow. Then the final okay. dish is the buckwheat porridge. And again, it's more like a, it's like, I mean, cooked kind of like rice would be cooked. So it's not like a, it's not like a runny porridge. Mm, um, yeah, it's not porridge, but they call it porridge. I, I thought it's like, exactly like he says, ra ra rice. You can see the whole grains of buckwheat. There's right, right. herbs in there, the dill and then mushrooms. Dill, mushrooms. Mm. You feel the grains, but what stands out to me is the, that flavor of the mushroom and the dill. This would give you energy. This is hearty. This is the whole grains. The root for the ribbon. Good for you. <laughs> what do you want to eat next? Dimitri's quote was, Come on, Mark, you're in Russia. More sour cream. Major part of almost everything for me. Sour cream is perfect. Out of all these dishes, the sour cherry varenic. Let's go for the next one and we'll see. Okay, where back outside, going finished with that. breakfast. That's a very close. Let's go for ice cream. We got too cold out in the Red Square, so we can't. Yeah, it's an original Soviet recipe, right? It hasn't yeah, changed. Yeah, 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 Soviet yeah. ice cream. Uh, Melon. Okay. Melon flavor. Melon. And uh, like the creme brulee. Thank you. We got the chocolate chip, and it Look at the face. It's too choppy. Comes in a cone, one scoop of ice cream. It's like very uniform. Yeah, and the cube is big. It's not a small cube, it's a big one. But to be honest, this is like probably one of the coolest environments of any ice cream that I've ever had, right in the red square. Let's try the ice cream. Oh yeah, that's cold. It's too cold, he can't even eat it. It's the same temperature as outside. It's hard to eat. It's too hard. It's pretty good ice cream. But I think his face is very normal, you know? It's, it's ice cream. Not really different. Ice cream is ice cream. If... Uh, you know, traditional ice cream is different. Traditional. But I think it's... The normal one, even I can see like Oreo inside, so it's. I think it's normal. Very, very historical for sure. From here, within the same complex, within the same mall, we're going to I a Soviet no canteen, and this is one of the few there, places huh? around the Kremlin. Let's, Let's see what's that. What are now they? we are getting to the hot food section. Uh, hot food so no. With mashed potato or with uh, buckwheat or just, just fish? Okay. With chicken. Fish is everywhere in Russia too. What was that? It was corn soup? Now we go find a seat over in this section. Alright. And this took this whole total meal, all of these different dishes cost 665. $10. What? It's not expensive. Which is like ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars. So the whole tray, the platter, Soviet style cuisine. So it's it's really like Soviet a mix style. of different cuisines from the entire Soviet Union region and the, the different parts. Uh, but we chose a couple of unique things and also we chose because we're going to be eating a lot of other food today. We chose some things that we won't be eating later today. So with the soup, oh it looks like this soup is bling ding, 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 to me. Like there's some salmon in there and some maybe a mix of different fish plus potato. And eat dill, maybe. No, no, no. No, no, no. I can't eat fish. Oh, it's pretty good. Um, like oily fish flavor with the dill flavor. Nice, actually. Herring okay. under the coat. Herring under the coat. And you need mayonnaise to fix it. What's that? 
Mayonnaise. Wow. Yeah. That is mayonnaise. -y. Very mayonnaise. -y. Got the herring base, the sweet beet, and then just like stuck together with mayonnaise. For the pets. The face was even good for me. Salad, beet, carrot, peas, potato, vinaigrette. Looks yummy. Mm. And it's a slight like vinegary dressing drink. It's like a more refreshing, cold. Mm. I knew that because we have some salad like this in our country. I think like all the cooked vegetables, main course, main dish, the fish cutlet, fish with cutlet. mashed potato. Yeah, you can tell it's very spongy. Potato. Fish potato. You know, I told you I don't like fish, but I think this mashed potato and fish cutlet will be good. The face, the, it, it looks like yummy. It's a little bit plain, but it's good. It's kind of like bready. But actually, his face is like... Oh, good. <laughs> His, his face is not like for dumpling, you know, cherries dumpling or that porridge or, you know. It's like half bread, half fish, and then kind of shallow fried, so it's kind of crispy, it's kind of buttery. So the dairies, the flowers. The the one of the main we'll concepts what is the during the Soviet Union was yeah, simplification. Okay. Nothing luxury. Last one is the pickled cucumbers. Oh, okay. And you were telling me that the pickled cucumbers is it's really special cool. here? Yeah, okay, yeah. let's try the pickled cucumber. Pickled cucumber? Oh. oh, wow. Pick it up. It's like perfect. Look at that. Look at that shimmer. <laughs> oh. Ah, okay. Wonderful. Look at Look that. Look inside. Mm -hmm. It will be... The butter is very soft. Again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, the bread yummy. is so soft. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not too thick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like very dainty. Pickles, like salty pickles on the inside. Really delicate. Mushrooms. Demetrius told me that Russia is very well known for mushrooms and historically as well and traditionally as a lot of mushrooms are used because of the yeah. wild mushrooms that are available. And they're so much more fragrant too. Mm -hmm. mm. And they're so flavorful. There's so much flavor mm. in a mushroom. Yeah. No, it's really good. It's good. Yeah, probably, this, like, uh, this really, really like nice smell. Like the smell and flavor of mushrooms. Okay, you cannot get uh, this kind of flavor from mushrooms that are uh, from farm or oh, from, from right. supermarkets. Mm -hmm. This is wild mushrooms. And then finally, I we have the, the last one, which is cabbage. Cabbage, okay. Cabbage. Oh, yeah. You smell the cabbage as soon as you open that up. Really yummy. I like it. It's like a pirashki. Pirashki, I know what is pirashki because we have in our country two different kind of pirash, pirashki. In, in Iran, in our country, we have a lot of same foods with Russian people. I don't know why. Maybe because we like their foods. Um, and then served it to us fresh. I guess we have to try yeah, that right now. Well, it's here, hot before we the subtitle is Russia. I guess there is a little bit of salt in there as well. For nice. sure. Yeah, for welcome, sure. Welcome to Russia. Welcome to Russia. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so. Immediately as you served it, you could just smell the, the media aroma, the eggs. Mm. The, yeah. mm. It has mm. meat. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's just. It's just so good. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's just perfect. <laughs> they actually design holes in this pie for rejuicing. I don't even mind if it. You just juiciness, and it just works it like what? with the meat and the what? egg. What's good? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> mm. And maybe we should follow that with some of the mm. the vodka. Um, yeah. I gotta try the horseradish immediately first. Which one would you yeah, like? It's, to it's, it's just more Russian. I will try uh, maybe tangerine because it's like. Okay, we don't have tangerines in, in, in Russia, so I will, I will leave some more traditional flavors for you. So this one is, tr it is, it is traditional? Yeah, I mean, horseradish yeah, 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 infused yeah. into vodka. Mm -hmm. okay. Cheers. Oh yeah. It smells yeah. amazing. It smells like liquid horse horseradish, I love it. Sip it, right? Yeah. I love it. It's strong, but, but uh, it's not so bitter no. because of the flavors. And like, you do immediately feel that horseradish kind of go up your nose a little bit. Okay, the Russian salad. You know, he, he drank that so smooth. Like, 
So that, what kind of vodka is like this? Just this one from Russia. And this is like a, it looks like a whole forest. Sturgeon caviar on top. But look, at, if you look at that detail, yeah. even the cucumbers, perfectly sliced, perfectly arranged in a spoke. The salad, there's little crayfish. What a there's design sprigs. about the salad, see? So beautiful. There's capers. I will take one of these little sides of the cat of the Russian salad. They're perfect in salad, I know. Mm. <laughs> and I think that's crayfish under there too, or ham. Ham, that's what it is. Look at that yeah. ham, sir. <laughs> the next appetizer we got is a pike. And the whole like base is kinda like stuffed pike. Pike. Is, that, is it carrot? On? That's a typical. On the break typical. was carrot? Mm, like oh, it is. Yeah, me. It's almost like I think eggy a little bit. It's the meat shrimp or something. Yeah. And just yeah, cool. Tastes like a pike omelet almost on the bottom. Perfect. Cheers. Next one. Next one. Cheers. Why oh, it's red? Yeah. Different. It does have like a honey nuttiness. Like a honey, yeah, honey walnut taste to it. This one is easier. Easier to do with the, the tangerine. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The dishes, moment man. has arrived. It is stroganoff time, Russian stroganoff. It, it is one of the most famous of all Russian dishes, but at the same time, stroganoff is just classic. It's just so good. The presentation of their food matches. It's Everything is delicate, everything is precise, everything is perfectly dainty and organized on your plate. Let's try the stroganoff first. So beef stroganoff, what do you normally do? Just eat some of that? Oh, look at that cream sauce. There's ugly mushrooms, sour cream, and cream with a light onions. onions. Mm. Mm. So soft. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so good. So Look soft. at the thickness of that it's cream sauce. It's meat. almost like melted cheese. It's so thick and wonderful. And I'll try with some of the potatoes this time. Mmm. Why? Oh, wow. Why? Why I'm doing this? I'm playing with my. Yeah. My. I can eat a, a basin of that stroganoff. It's so good. Well, let's move over and try the. Uh, try fish. the sour next. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that cheese? Yeah, I don't like fish. Um. Uh, so. Or sour cream. Uh, cheese and sour cream, maybe. Maybe some kind. There's some shrimp. Everywhere you can find sour cream. Up on top, there's um, asparagus. And a berry. It's like a little lingonberry or something. Yes, they removed all the bones off here. The ah, yeah, it's, it's just like fillet, yeah, 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 yeah. but they saved the head. Up. It's crazy for fish. I think that is cheese. Mm. Mm. That just melts in your mouth, though. Wow. Trout is good. But I think he's Russian, but just, every food is Russian. He's just stroganoff. He's, he's enjoying, he's like, mmm, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Tell you <laughs> you're gonna, unbeatable. <laughs> the creaminess of that sauce will impress you upon first lick. Even a drip of that sauce has powers. Wow. And you taste like the sweetness of the onions, the mushrooms, that light herb on top, and the beef is just, it's perfect beef. Feel free to try some salmon. Um, and we're just gonna try Ying's salmon real fast. Mm. Is it salmon? Really good though. So. It's crusted in some kind of an herb, like a pineapple fruit on top. I'm not a fish fan, sorry. I can't talk about it. Sturridge is a traditional Russian sauce. Yeah, it's, it's a what? A sturridge. A sturridge. Okay. Like a sturridge, like but a sturridge, it's but a, a river, yes. Sturridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't, what, I don't know what to say, so oh, yeah, everything is perfect. Even the, the, the space for the... Absolutely stunning. Dimitri is explaining to me, this is the food of the Tars, the Russian kings, but it is a freshwater sturridge. Like, it is a sturgeon. In, in Russian, it's called sterlet. The whole base of it that holds the fish up is made from rye bread. And then it's on like a boat structure almost. Okay, Ab cool. 
thank you. Yo. Oh, they serve it for you. <laughs> this truly is a dish fit for Russian royalty, Russian kings, and it's stuffed with king crab and shrimp in the center of it. And then he served us mashed potato and a horseradish gravy. Yeah. It's like a king's food in Russia. You can see the whole pieces of crab in there. Yeah. The crab in there, the fish. This. I'm done. I stay here. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. This one is so moist and like the crab, you taste the crab and the shrimp aroma like pouring into the meat. And you're right about that sauce. The horseradish sauce is so nice. Amazing. Amazing. It provides so much flavor. In southern Russia and it was brought to Moscow for the kings, for the royalty, right? No. Because mm. it is that special. Such a weird story behind. Very special. Give yourself like a, like a royal. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are giving us the royal treatment here, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah, sure. Enough, enough, enough. Enough, enough. Enough, please. For today, enough. What is dessert? You get some of that cream, some of that melted caramel and, and strawberries. Uh, caramel and strawberries. Wow. It's cold. Next one. Sour. Very sour. Liquid. And then like, again, the very thin layer of chocolate. It's not too thick. Yeah. So it like just collapses. This is actually my favorite taste-wise dessert. No, it's just a bed of just straight Arch. cranberries. Mmm. Cranberry. Mostly sour and a little bitter, yeah. I thought they were cherries, but they were cranberry. Ending with a coffee and a chocolate metal. Chocolate metal. <laughs> oh. I don't want to leave. It's so warm and warm and luxurious in here. <laughs> this was such a good meal. <laughs> like blown away by the service and how they're just preserving this culture museum of a restaurant and and the food actually I mean it, truly the food stands up to it for me like it's really amazingly good food okay so and I think I have to finish my video because I lost my light but it was amazing I really like their food I would go for another food of course the future Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it and suggest me to your friends and check my channel. See you next time, Cheshit.